So we brought the snow blower to where it's going to be living over here, a little bit outside the city. One thing I have to say is, whoever designed these is pure genius. These things come off so quickly and they come back on so easily that it really helps you to, uh, to move the snowblower from place to place. There's no way the snowblower could fit in my little car like that, but since we've got these things, the handles come off real easy, the chute comes off real easy, and it fits like a glove. Here's a pro tip. I discovered while trying to figure out where to put the batteries that the battery case actually contains a manual. And if you use this manual, putting the thing together is probably going to be a lot easier. There's also an Allen key. I'm going to add this to my collection of Allen keys, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to figure out what it's for. So I was quite surprised to find out that the battery compartment takes all three batteries. I was kind of hoping that we'd be using one battery and then using the other two as spares, but it looks like we use them all. I figured out what the Allen key's for. In order to get the chute control rod in, you need to take off these two little screws, and for that, you need this Allen key. So I have to admit, the hardest part of putting this thing together was putting the control rod for the chute in. It took me forever. I took the control rod apart, put it back together, Realize that you've got to use that Allen key, pull the thing down, slide the control rod in. Then realize that you've got to have the thing facing forward. The biggest thing that I realized was that there's this cable. When this cable is pulled down, it opens up a latch, which allows you to turn your chute. And that chute needs to be facing forward for you to get your control rod in. Once it's in, you hook the cable to the rod here. And then to turn the chute, you just pull back on the rod, which releases the latch, and boom, you can turn your chute. I swear, it took me hours to figure that one out. But now the snowblower is ready to go. Let's test it out.
So what's my final take on this? I like it. The Greenworks Pro 80 volt snow thrower seems to do the trick and managed to do our driveway. It's not a very small driveway, um, but the snow wasn't very high. Uh, we we're looking at around three inches at the most, but it's really thick snow. So the auger did its job. It even cut through the snow that the street cleaners leave on the sides. Didn't have any issues with it. The only weird things are, well, one of the weird things is the lights seem to come on when you switch it on, but that's not a deal breaker. They're LED lights. I'm sure they're not taking up a lot of electricity. It's going to take me some time to use these little handles here that uh, apparently help you turn really fast. And that's about it, really. Um, I also don't understand why the battery charger is for two batteries and you actually need all three batteries in here to, to get like optimal time. So you have to charge two batteries and then charge the other one. Beyond that, it's a great little snowblower and uh, I think it's, it's a decent alternative to gas powered. Um, I don't know what else there is to say about this thing. It, it works. I was honestly pleasantly surprised. So I would, I would recommend this thing. Um, it worked really well here. As you can see, it snows quite a bit. Um, don't know what else there is to say. Well, one charge got us this far. Honestly, it's heavy snow and it's about a foot deep. One key to notice is how deep the snow is. It was actually deeper than the bucket, but somehow the snowblower got through it. <laughs>